Hi, Deb Pervin here with another Tuesday Tweet. No picture today because my internet isn't strong enough to bring you one. Today we're going to talk about your revolving line of credit. It is my recommendation that this is something you get. If you're bankable, a revolving line of credit is necessary during to navigate times of uncertainty. It just gives you one more resource to make sure that you have the cash you need to continue to run your business successfully during uncertain times, which we certainly have right now. What do you do? You need to be prepared. The first line of business, <laughs> piles of cash. I know piles of cash are hard to do, especially when you're growing a business and you're your capital is limited, your resources are limited, cash is probably limited as well, which is why a line of credit is such an important tool for you to consider. Yes, it's debt, I understand that, but it performs like a credit card and small business owners are seems very content to use their credit cards and that's what a line of credit is, but it's a lot less expensive. They will charge you an annual fee, but it's interest only. Now, the trick is that you must be disciplined. So usually you use your line of credit for working capital. What does that mean? When you're waiting to collect your accounts receivable, let's say you complete a project for one of your clients and they pay you in, they're supposed to pay you in 30 days, but they pay you in 60 days. Meanwhile, you gotta make payroll, you have to pay your rent, you have to pay all your platform services. So where do you get those funds? From that line of credit but you must be disciplined. You have to pay down the line of credit when you collect the AR. Must keep interest current, and most banks will require you have an annual cleanup, which means that for one day or up to 30 days, you have no borrowings. That will guarantee that your working capital is the reason you're using your line of credit. Now, why do I think it's important? because you need to establish a banking relationship. It is the best way to grow a business. The banker can help you, can give you tips, will learn your business and will be your advocate in the event you need to stretch. And having a line of credit, a third party uh, credibility that you are credit worthy, that you run a smart business, you run a good business, and a bank is willing to lend you money. Therefore, vendors and customers will think more highly of you. And finally, plan B, when you run out of cash or you have an opportunity to buy a competitor or you have the ability to buy inventory at a discounted rate, this is what you need that line of credit for. Just take advantage of those opportunities or keep yourself afloat while things go wrong, like your clients don't pay you on time or your supply chain is way late. It just gives you a little more cushion. Please call me, ask me any questions. I'm happy to answer them. I'd love to tell you what banks I like working with. And I will in July have a five day challenge called, Are You Bankable? So keep your eyes peeled for that. Thanks for your time today and I'll look forward to seeing you next week. Bye-bye.